As we approach the five-year anniversary of the Lehman Brothers collapse, the banking system in that five-year period has indeed gone through a bunch of changes. Here to talk about the current state of the financial system as well as systemic risk is Sandra Navidi of Beyond Global. Sandra, thank you very much for your time and how are you doing today? Thank you for having me, James. Okay, let's talk very quickly about the banking system and the changes it has made in the past five years. For example, we have the amount of capital at the six largest U.S. banking institutions almost doubling since 2008. But does this added capital necessarily mean that we are safer? Your thoughts on that? Well, we have to see we're coming from a very low base and we still don't have enough capital. Yes, the system is a little bit safer. Capital has been beefed up. Toxic papers have been written off. But for instance, Basel uh, 3 requires a 3% capital ratio and that's still very low. It should be going more in 8% and recent research has shown that it does not put a weight on growth if capital is a little bit higher. But it does make the system a lot safer. All right, let's now talk about the government and the role it has played in these financial institutions. In retrospect, one can easily state that it was indeed critical for these institutions to survive. Now, however, is it, is it safe to say that it was the right thing to do? It was the right thing to do because there were no alternatives, no alternative, no problem. The, the problem now is that we've moved ourselves into a corner with cheap money, with low interest rates. Those interest rates will have to come up. It's very unfair to the savers, for instance, and we, we just need a more normal interest rate. But that could lead to distortions with regard to financial institutions because we would have to, they would have to value paper all differently. Okay, so do you think that the financial institutions have done enough to prevent the possible in inclusion of future government intervention? No, they have not. There have been a lot of great uh, proposals to make the system safer. Dodd-Frank, for instance, but the problem is that the, the lobbyist organization of financial institutions sort of put a, um, a, a wrench, monkey wrench into the system, so nothing has really, or not much has been implemented. So not much has been implemented? Okay. And I have to ask you one last question then. In regards to five years of retrospect that Lehman Brothers collapsed, what do you think we've learned? I think we know a lot of things that could have been done better, that should be done better, you know, higher capital requirements, lower leverage ratio, higher liquidity requirements. A lot, a lot of stuff should be on balance sheet. It makes it really an intransparent and more dangerous and more costly, actually, if they're off balance sheet. Stress tests should include review of management also. So there are lots of things that we can do better. What we've learned is that it's very hard to implement because of the financial lobby. What we've learned is that um, financial fragility is a costly weight on the economy and it's of existential importance to all of us but it's very hard to put through so the change has to come from the top from the policy makers but they don't they, they they're hesitant to put this through because they get financed by the financial industry so if they act against the interests of the financial industry they act against their own interests so that's why the pressure on the top policy makers has to come from the bottom from the the people the political constituency has to put more pressure on their politicians